So, you see, we have this problem here that it doesn't properly feed out the the, um, the filaments properly. So I have now found the solution of it. So, but to um, to see what to do, we're gonna understand what causes it first. So let me explain. So we all know this is going in here and go through there and there's a little wheel here and here's a little brake and it also have a little bit of an electrical conducting thing here that makes sure that you have it in here and not. When it starts to make sounds, it is because, I gotta, as you see, here is the normal uh, thread. It is very rounded and things like that, which you know. And then it goes through the the gear and it leaves this little jacks here because it grabs it and feeds it. The problem with this little things is that if this camera is uh, good enough it is uh, making uh, um, these marks in a very specific way. So I was when I feed out the things, here is the problem area. You see it there. Here is the problem area when it is grabbing. This is what it usually looks like when it's feeding, and this is when it causes the problem when the gears ha starts to slip and cannot grab it anymore. Uh, so that is the problem. So, how to fix this? So, this is the thread illustrated by this clay here, as you see. And here we have the one wheel that is just uh, holding it in place, and this is the actual feeder wheels that will make something that looks like this on the thre on, on the filament as you might know. However, the, what happens is that if it starts with the, in this positions or you it gets pushed back, it can actually slip a little bit to make these things that it looks and then it slips on it and that's what makes the clicking noise when this wheels slips and it the, the pushes the the filament back and forth so if you cut it off and push it in again and then when you release the wheel you'll actually be on a flat area so it will not start to make these things and the reason why this can happen if is the filament is stuck on something it starts to scrape on the same places at once. That's why you're getting these extra deep cuts like that. So if you start all your new prints with just cutting off a little bit and then reattach it so it can start again, the problem should be solved. See, they still have the marks on them, but we want them to start in a fresh area for feeding it in to avoid this uh, gear slipping uh, threads. So we're just gonna cut off a bit and uh, refeed it. As I was testing this it actually got stuck here in my homemade spool here uh, and it started to click because it couldn't feed so if it got a stock it actually digs more into the filament and that also causes uh, this thing so if you have a very free, free flowing um, thing this will not also happen so now that we have narrowed it all down, we can actually try to make sure that the print, that this doesn't happen because it's very annoying. And now when I think I have solved it, 
and it, it hasn't clicked unless for when I saw that and I just did a little bit of that to fix it. Maybe the problem come back and bite me later. But uh, now you know the digging problem in the filament. Also, uh, check out my my other video I made on how I did the improvements on my setup here. Maybe it's something for you also. Who knows? See you in the next one. Or if you want to see me build the things I actually printing in out here. Stay tuned and subscribe. Bye.